Okay guys, so we're at home and we're leaving for New York today. Um leaving like an hour and a half. Spending time with my cats before we go. Um we're going for like five days. We're gonna see Hamilton. It's gonna be great, so are watching us, waiting for us to leave. They're gonna miss me. Hi Ange. Holy fuck, I hate kids. Look how cute they are. Oh, my nene, my nene, mom. Bye, nene, I love you. Okay, hey guys, so it's like 12 o'clock now. I'm in Madeline's van. Um, we're at McDonald's, and the drive-thru is a double drive-thru, and it's still like out to the street. So my mom went in to get me food because we're not eating again until 5, and I'm getting a smoothie, a burger, and fries. So... Um, it's kind of hot in here. I'm wearing a sweater because I thought the air conditioning would be on. And I guess it kind of is, but I don't know. So I hope you're ready for this car ride. Back with another side note. Um, I can't tell if I have to pee or not. And I don't know when the next time we're going to stop is. And I don't want to get in trouble. But I'm the one left in charge taking care of the van. <laughs> it kind of smells like my brother in here. <laughs> but, um, Yeah. I kind of have to pee. I'll just pee the van. Hey guys, we're in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Home of the office. It's 11 p.m. and we're going to our hotel now. Dunder Mifflin, this is Pam. Hey guys, so we're in Scranton, Pennsylvania, home of the office. Do 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 do. Dunder Mifflin, this is Pam. Um, it's morning. I don't feel good like always, and I'm tired. And it's like seven o'clock, and we have to leave at nine. And my crazy mom decided it'd be good to wake me up at seven. So I don't know what she's thinking. Okay, so we have this um little office walking tour map. Ooh. You're my friend, Cam. I never would have done this to you. Get married. So yeah, we should go on this, but there's no time. So. Okay, hey guys, we're going to the grocery store and there's these little kitties playing by the post. So I decided I'm going to go see them. Oh no, that one's playing on the road now. Hello? Hi! Hi! I love you! Okay, hey guys, I just woke up. What day is it, Mom? Day three? Wednesday. She didn't answer me with the way I wanted, but today's day three, Wednesday, apparently. And I'm watching Jane the Virgin. And I ate some breakfast. Um, we're going to the top of the rock today. The David Bowie Museum, I think. And we're going to see Hamilton, so that should be fun. Okay, hey guys, so we're at the bus stop now to go to New York because we haven't even been there yet and we've been here for like three days. Not really, so, not three days. Yes, three days. So high quality sleeping. We're time. waiting for the bus. Um and living our best life. So You're not funny. Getting my hair cut for free. So yeah. We're in um Times Square around Broadway Street. It's 140 and we've done nothing. Um, our moms seem to be lost at Bruce Springsteen, so we're having a lot of fun. So shout out to Claire and Aaron, we now experience her pain, we're lost in the fucking rock and have a very bad sunburn because we've been outside all day and this is the first time we've done anything even though it's 2pm so this day is going very well. I'm at the Rockefeller Center and I'm eating lunch, um, this has been the worst day of 
probably my entire life. Everything about this building is fucked up. It's huge, it all looks the same. It's so easy to get lost. Um, I'm really hating my life right now and we we're supposed to go to the museum today. But no, because of this stupid building, we can't go to MoMA and we're just gonna have to go to Hamilton after six hours later we get to the top of the fucking rock. So, I might actually pull the trigger piglet. Now we're supposed to do everything on Friday even though we won't have enough time to, so. Okay, so we're on the top of the rock. Ooh, the Empire State Building. It's um, really sunny and hot up here. A lot of buildings down below and we're heading up again, so. Hey, Jesse. Ooh. Just chilling in Cedar Rapids. Um, my feet hurt, my legs hurt, my knees hurt. I'm tired. And now we have to walk to Hamilton, even though I'll be in serious amounts of pain. Okay, so we're at the Disney store. I don't know if we're allowed to film, but who's gonna tell me not to buy this? Um, we'll figure out if I bought it by the time I'm editing this. It's um, a tiny cold pot! This is coming to college with me. Hamilton we're Hamilton. at Richard Rogers Theater to go see Hamilton. No, there isn't. Um, we just hit up the Disney store and then the Hamilton store. I have a really bad... It's spent exactly $50. I have a really bad headache and my legs are aching. But this better be good and we know it will. Okay guys, so it's the end of the day. Today we did nothing. Um, we went to the top of the rock and spent like hours there getting lost. Um, but it was pretty up high. And then we went to Hamilton and picked up our tickets. Then we raided the Disney store. And I got myself a poo. And then my nephew Cade, a little Moana pig stuffed animal because he loves Moana. And then... We went to the Hamilton store and then went to Hamilton, and Hamilton was so good, obviously. But um, the lady and her kids beside me, oh my god, they wouldn't stop singing. Like, we know it's a musical, but you're not supposed to like sing like it's Broadway. Please, God, no. And the seats were really made like in the 1800s when people were shorter, I guess. So like, your feet wouldn't fit. I was supposed to kick the old lady in the back of the head with my knee. And we took the bus back home, but almost got lost. And now I can't move because I feel like my legs should be cut off. But yeah. Okay, hey guys, we're at the bus stop again. It's the next day. Um, I don't know where the bus is. It's like a gazillion degrees. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Or I'm hungry, I can't really tell. But I don't feel so good, so nice. Um, so we're at Bubba Gump, and I'm gonna get a drink and get a drink and we're waiting for the Campbells to get their shopping done. Um, yeah, it's been a really long day, but what are you gonna do? Okay, so it's Friday and I've never felt this sick in my life. Um, just kidding, I have. But I feel so nauseous, like I'm literally going to throw the fuck off. I can't fucking do this. I need to walk everywhere today. It's our longest day. And then I'm not, I can't eat right now because I feel so sick and then I'm going to be starving. Whatever. Okay, so then we went to the 9-11 museum. This is me like two months later because um, I was too lazy to edit. And by this point in the trip, I was like so exhausted I forgot to vlog. So we went to the 9-11 museum and it was really like um, harrowing because I was born like before 9-11 but I was still like so young that I can't really like understand what it was like so this was um crazy I literally like bawled my eyes out um yeah I'm really glad I got the opportunity to go though um and the fountains were so beautiful and they put flowers on everyone's names like on their birthday and I was like oh my god okay so next we had it we headed over to the MoMA, um, and we know I'm an art hoe. We know Monet is my favorite artist by far, if you know me. Um, so we got to see water li lilies, um, obviously the best thing in the whole museum. And then um, 
we got to see some Van Gogh pieces, and we all know everyone loves Van Gogh. And then um, the Star Night was so cute. But then we got to see some Jackson Pollock's, and my mom loves him. So they were like, okay. And then we got some Picasso's. Um, okay, sign me the fuck up. Those were literally so good. Um, then we saw some Salvador Dali's, and then they were supposed to have the persistence of time, but it was out on loan to the French. Like, okay. And then these um, suprematisms, I actually did like my grade 12 art project like based on this art movement so that was really cool to see that and then um there's some like Rousseau and then actually we did some art history like in history class on like Enzor and like all these artists so it was cool to see these like literally a week after like we learned about them so one of the last things we did before we left New York is we went on a bus tour so we saw the Met literally like a week after the Met Gala. She was so cute but we couldn't go in because we could only have time to go to the MoMA. Um, we saw some of these beautiful buildings. I literally shit my pants because I love architecture so much and it's like blurry because we were on a bus. Um, there's one of Trump's buildings. <clears throat> um, it's disgusting. And then here's this little weed truck that I thought was cute. So. Okay, so all in all, I love New York. Um, I went to London, I think it was two years ago, last year. Um, and London was like my all-time favorite city ever. But now, ever since I went to New York, New York is my favorite city. I literally love cities more than anything. I hate towns. I need to live in a big city with public transit and the busy streets. And I had so much fun and I literally cannot wait to go back again. I will kill someone to go back to New York, so I wish I could live there someday, but not in Trump's America. So thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully there'll be a New York haul up within the next couple months because I have it filmed. I just need to edit it, and I don't like editing. So yeah, thank you for watching.